Good morning, everybody. Thank God for another Friday where we can come in God's presence and uh, study His Word. And uh, this morning, in our social distance and meditation, I'd like for you to open your Bible with me in Psalm 60. Uh, we're going to read verse 12. Psalm 60, verse 12. With God's help, we will do mighty things, for He will trample down our foes. Some other translation says, trample down our enemies. With God. It says in the book of James that everything good is from God. This psalm is a psalm of prayer and testimony. We see David throughout the psalm talking about the battle that he has won, but also praying that God will continue to see him through all the future battles that he will have to face. Though he has won many battles, David did not take credit for anything he did. You can think about when David had to face Goliath. He didn't go and face Goliath because he was the best warrior to face him. He said that he was going to face Goliath in the name of the Lord. It is the same here in this passage with God's help we will do mighty things because God will give us what we need to face all the challenges that we will face. Whether we need wisdom in a situation, whether we need a strategy on how to tackle a problem, with God's help, we will do mighty things. As we think about the circumstance where where and when David wrote the psalm, we see one of the reasons why David is called a man after God's own heart. God's own heart. David totally understands how to get to the heart of God. The way that he did it is by being humble. See, David knew that all the great things that he was able to accomplish was not because of himself, not because he was a great warrior, though he was a, a very, very good warrior, but he understood that he was able to make all this conquest because God was with him. And he made sure that he gave God all the credits. He gave God all the glory. David never shared God's, shared God's credit with himself. Our verse this morning tell us that, that, that we should rely on God in all things, for God is the final authority in all things. Depending on God will bring us to another level in our wisdom, in our smarts, in our capacity. Capacity. Now let's look at some of the battles that David and the Israelites had to fight and won. See, thinking about them with, with our own intelligence or wisdom, there is no way, there is no way that young David could, could have fought against the giant Goliath and defeated him. And because Goliath was a, a seasoned warrior, Goliath have, have won many, many battles. And to the point that Goliath was, was, was telling the people, the, 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 um, the, the army of Israel to face, to just send one person to face him because he knows that he would have won the battle. Now we see little David, uh, come and 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 said that he was gonna defeat Goliath because he wasn't going to face Goliath out of his own strength, out of his 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 own wisdom, but he was going to face Goliath in the name of the Lord his God, and 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 we see that because he did that. David defeat, uh, defeated Goliath. He was only able to do it because he depended on God to help him through it because God is the powerful one. See, when the Israelites were being chased by the Egyptian soldiers, uh, 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 after after um, after they 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 they, had, they let them go, and you see uh, when they were after them and the Israelites was going was going ahead and you see that they were facing the Red Sea in front of them, the army behind them. They had nowhere to go. They didn't know what to do. But when they looked to 
God, God provided a way for them. Because they looked to God, God opened the Red Sea. Now that's mighty things, my brothers and sisters, because God opened the Red Sea and they were able to cross on dry ground to the other side of the Red, of the Red Sea. They trusted in God and then God parted the Red Sea. And I'm telling you, this is mighty things in the name of the Lord. And, and that's the kind of stuff that you can do when you trust God, when you can say, with God, I can do all things. There are so many different examples that we can take that will allow us to see God's wondrous power. We humans are powerless it, when we when you're thinking about about the power of God, when we rely on our own ability to do things, we always end up in failure. However, when we rely on God to do the things that are pleasing to him, we will gain his blessings and guidance and outdo ourselves. Just as the Bible said in the book of Proverbs, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. See, the greatest wisdom in our life that we can count on God and look to God in every situation that we may face. I'm not sure where you, we, where you are this morning and what you are about to what you face on the daily basis what you are about to face today now just like davis we was was facing some difficult time when he wrote this psalm you can read it you can read it in 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 first samuel because david was fighting a, a, a battle in the north in the in the north and the at, at the same time the south was being invaded by the edomite we see david didn't really panic because he had his experience with God. David knew knew that he could count on God no matter what situation that he was facing. Sometimes we are facing some difficult situation and we are not sure who or where to turn. We would think about so many things before we would go to God. We would think about who we can call or, or ask for help before we think about God. But this morning we see David here is giving us the perfect example, giving us the road map to, to be able to do great and mighty things. And, and he's telling us is with God because David counted on God. And, and even though, even though things seems bleak for for him, he, he as he was fighting up north and and the south is being invaded. David know with God he would conquer and won the victory. See, we need to take a page from David's book. See, when we face with with this this huge battle, David. David first humbled himself and prayed for God help to face the armies that was invading the southern kingdom. We can also see in verse 11 that David acknowledges that trying to seek help from men was useless. He knew that God never failed to come to his rescue. Just like David this morning, if you are facing some difficult time and you are facing a fork in the road, I implore you this morning not to place your trust a confidence in man as david put put it put it in his in his prayer give us hope against our enemies for human help is worthless that's what david says and and we we could ask god for hope this morning we could ask god to help us to see or, or where where like we couldn't see with our naked eyes but for us to be able to see what God is about to do this morning we will have we will have confidence in no one else but in God to help us in our times of need when we have experienced God seeing us through difficult times when we have the experience with God when we have a relationship with him when we know what he can do not just what we're reading about his doing from with other people but when we know for ourselves what God can do when we have testimony of God seeing us through. If you have walked with God in, in, in a few years, I'm sure you have seen God deliver you from, from 
any or, or a few difficult situations. Now, the only thing that will help you build the same confidence that David had in the Lord is by having experiences with God. When your experience with God is not just what you read in books that give you confidence because you have seen first and what God can do. I don't know what you may be facing today or what you will be facing throughout this week, this month, or even this year. But our verse is telling us to place our trust in the Lord and Him alone. When you place your trust in man, you will be disappointed. But when you place your trust in the Lord, you will never be disappointed. I'm saying with full assurance because I have seen what my God can do. Now, let me finish this morning with these words. See, I, I read this while I was preparing for this uh, devotion, and it says this, trust in yourself and you are doomed to disappointment. Trust in your friends and they will die and leave you. Trust in money and you may have it taken from you. Trust in reputation and some slender tongue may blast it. But trust in God and you will never be confounded in time of eternity. So let us fully place our trust in the Lord. The only one that will not disappoint this morning. The only one when you count on him, he will, will always come through for you. As it is said in Proverbs, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And by doing so, you will you, you will guarantee victory in the name of the Lord. Just as David understood in, 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 in Psalm 60 verse 12, with God's help, with God's help, we will do mighty things. With God's help, we will do mighty things. As we go on this year, in this month of, of, of January, as we... we we are already in, in day number 21 and, and we can trust God to see us through. We can trust God for, to help us, help us to do mighty and great things in this year. And as we put, place our trust in him, we can say like David with God, wherever you are right now, say it with God, I can do all and great things. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you for these words. Thank you for this encouragement today, Lord God. With you, we can do great and mighty things. And Father God, we are trusting you today to help us, oh God, in, uh, as we go throughout the day and, and challenges that will come our way, Lord God. We pray, oh God, that that, that these words will, will keep coming to our mind that we can say, with God, we will face our challenges and we will, and you will see us through. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for these words. Bless, O oh God, our day. Let everything that we do be pleasing in your sight. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining me once again. I, I pray that you were blessed by these words. And if you were, please share it with someone. And, and may God bless you and keep you. May he watch over you. May he protect you today. And I pray that you will have a great, a safe, and blessed day under God's protection. I love you with the love of the Lord.